Great Ormond Street Hospital in London is reviewing more than 700 cases involving children who were seen by a former orthopaedic surgeon. The hospital says it's taking allegations surrounding botched operations on children's limbs incredibly seriously. Our correspondent Matthew Thompson joins me now from outside St Ormond Street in central London. Uh, so Matthew, specifically, what has this surgeon been accused of? Well, he's been accused of essentially leaving some children, we don't yet know many how, exactly how many, but some children deformed and with lifelong injuries. Uh, the hospital, as you say, is reviewing 700 cases, all of them former patients of Yasser Jabbar, an orthopaedic surgeon who worked here at Great Ormond Street Hospital until uh, two years ago, in fact, until 2022. And, and one of the children had to have a leg amputated following a series of procedures by Mr. Mr. Jabbar. Now, back in February, Great Ormond Street Hospital, after complaints from families, uh, commissioned the Royal College of Surgeons to conduct a review into its paediatric orthopaedic care. And the details of that review have been leaked this morning to the Sunday Times. Now, Sky News has not seen the exact details of that review, but we have had some of the details confirmed by lawyers acting on behalf of some of the victims. Now, at least according to the Sunday Times reporting, of the 39 cases reviewed so far, there have been 22 cases of harm, children harmed by the procedures, and 13 cases of severe harm, and that would be the kind of thing that I was mentioning a moment ago, lifelong injuries. Uh, and also, at least according to the Sunday Times version of events, uh, the uh, review found that the child who was, had the leg amputated, I mentioned a moment ago, that possibly could have been avoided given uh, different treatment. Now, Mr. Yabar does no longer has a license to practice medicine in the UK, at least according to the General Medical Council. As I say, he worked here from 2018 to 2022. Uh, Great Ormond Street Hospital have released a statement today. They told us um, that um, they take the issues raised in the article incredibly seriously and know they will be worrying for patients and families. We're deeply sorry, they said, to all patients who received poor care and understand that this may have had a significant impact on their health and well-being. But it could potentially leave the hospital open to uh, legal claims for compensation. In fact, as I mentioned, we've spoken to Hudgel solicitors who are acting on behalf of seven of the victims. Uh, they say that they have launched uh, legal civil action, which could, if negligence is proven, lead to compensation claims. They say that the details they've seen of the, the case notes they've been passed are shocking and very upsetting for the families. And they say that it paints a worrying picture of the treatment uh, given by Mr. Jabbar. And some of the victims victims are as young as four months old. And given the ratio of cases examined to harm found that I mentioned a moment ago, so 39 cases reviewed and 22 cases of harm found, it seems plausible at least that as this review of 700 plus cases continues, more and more instances of children being harmed will be uncovered.